pretty toasty out here this morning but welcome back to another video and another stunning spring day here on the Isle of Man. Feeling a little bit overdressed here as I climb up the mountain. It's always sunny I promise you. So we've got a bit of a sheep rescue here going on. Oh my. Job's good in. Little lamb got under the fence there somehow and uh, had to drop him back across. Don't want him getting on this road anyway. As I was about to say before, my little animal rescue mission there. I hope you all had a great Easter weekend last week, wherever you got up to. We've had some positive news over here on the Isle of Man in the last week as well, with the active cases of Corona down to, I think it was 14 today. And uh, yeah, we're coming out of lockdown again on Monday, so it'd be nice to spend some more time with family and friends. Maybe even go for a nice meal somewhere, but just come up the mountain here this morning I'll tell you a little bit about what we're out here to do in just a second so I'm sure many of you have been watching the cycling on the TV over the last few weeks not only witnessing some great racing in the classics but also there's been a lot of talk about the new UCI rules that come into effect on April 1st to apparently improve the safety of cycling. So the bid on throwing, the puppy dog paws over the front of the bars, and most importantly, the super tuck. There's been a lot of riders in the pro peloton saying the super, the super tuck's not that dangerous, blah, 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 it's never caused any crashes. But at the end of the day, it's banned now, so yeah, we've got to stick to the rules. And now with racing on the horizon, myself and my brother have been testing out some new positions to go down the descent. But the question is, are they actually legal? So we're going to test out some ones here today and see which one is the fastest. So I've just got to the top of Faulty Wheel here, waiting for my brother to meet me out on the road this morning. He had some sort of retirement do or something to, to go to this morning. So yeah, meeting him out on the road. So just to tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here this morning, we're going to be doing an unscientific test in an uncontrolled environment here on the descent of Faulty Wheel. And, uh, yeah, if you want to go downhill fast and not get disqualified, then we're going to have to do something. So we're going to be testing out some positions today that we're going to film for you guys. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. You never know, might even be quicker than the super top and safer. How are you? Not bad, thank you. How was your retirement party? Any cake or pasties and that? Sun and bun out of it, so uh... Are you all right? So the plan is we're going to set out two markers a little bit further down the hill here and then get into the aero tug position and see which one we come out at top speed with. So ridden down to the first cattle grid on faulty wheel here and then ridden back up to this sign which we're going to use as a bit of a marker point and it's 300 meters from here to that cattle grid and the max speed at the cattle grid wins essentially so that's what we're going to do got this signpost we're also going to put a marker down so it's an accurate test do a super tuck first and then we'll measure it up and see what speed we get so go on, laugh this so half a turn half a turn across half a turn right ready So here's Leon, setting the baseline on the super tuck. You ready? Disqualified. So the first one there with the super tuck, we reached the top speed of kilometers an hour so we've got to try and beat that with the other positions I can't have 
positions out of the <laughs> hole. <laughs> Position number two is going to be on the tops and my bum back, right at the back of the saddle. We'll see how that one goes. Ready to roll in position number two, Leon? It's all ready. <laughs> so Leon is going to demonstrate the third and final position we'll be testing out today. The results so far have actually been quite interesting, so you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. But um, we best get on with the third and final run, Leon, of the legal positions, anyway. So talk us through your final position here, then, Leon. So we've had one on the stops already, had one on the drops, so I thought we uh, might as well have one on the, on the hooks just to uh, seal the deal. Seal Even it out. Yeah. Ready to roll? Ready for the good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Third and final run for myself. Same position as Leon there. So there we go, there's all three of our positions tested out against the Super Tuck this morning here on Fault You Will. With some quite interesting results, don't you think, Leon? Yeah, quite surprising actually. Um, so you'll soon find out the results. Yeah, I'll let you know those results when we get back home. But um, what position do you think you'd be adopting this season, Leon? Oh, big secret, big secret. In the, uh, in the Tour de Reservoir. <laughs> Tour de Reservoir on. I think Tour de Reservoir is not on. What position you will you be adopting in Super Talk because it's not a UCI event? Oh, are you? <laughs> I must say thank you to Dr. Leon Mazzoni for putting his aerodynamic testing to the test. Did you enjoy yourself this morning, Leon? You look like it. Oh, fantastic day I was. So back up on the top of the mountain here now, enjoying the, the views. But um, yeah. As I say, some interesting results and nice to get out in the sunshine and just do something a little bit different on uh, my recovery day today. So we've come down off the mountain now, back through Ramsey. I've just headed out for a bit of an extra loop up north to round my ride up. Leon's gone home. We both had a pretty easy day on the cars today, so we thought it'd be a bit of fun to go out and film an experimental video like we did today. And I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed getting out in the sunshine and uh, enjoying the fresh air and the views up there on Fault You Will. But I'm almost home, probably 10, 15 minutes away. So I'm just gonna finish off this ride. And as soon as I do, I'm gonna have some lunch and then jump on the laptop and share those results with you guys. So stay tuned for that. 
So as it turned out, I ended up having a pretty busy afternoon once I got back off the bike yesterday. So I didn't quite get the chance to film at the end of this video. But I'm out here this morning. The weather's not quite as nice, but I'm here to share the results of the little bit of a test we did yesterday. And uh, yeah, as you will have seen in the video, we both did a, a run of the Super Tuck to start with to kind of get a baseline of what top speed we'd be able to achieve in that now band position and then test it against our three legal positions and compare it and try and beat it with the uh, with them. So for my run in the Super Tuck there, I got a max speed of 48.9 kilometers an hour by the time I reached the cattle grid. And for Leon, he reached 48.6 kilometers an hour. But as I mentioned a little earlier in the video, the results were actually quite surprising. So you'd probably think the Super Tuck was the fastest position, but I'm gonna run through the rest of the three legal positions compared to the Super Tuck from slowest to fastest. So for myself, position number three was in fact the slowest with a top speed of 49.0 kilometers an hour. Then position two with 49.2 kilometers an hour. And the fastest of all was position one with 50.2 kilometers an hour top speed. And then for Leon's results, they follow a quite a similar pattern actually. So again, the third position was the slowest for him with a 48.4 kilometers an hour top speed compared to position two, which was 48.7. And then position one again, which was the fastest with 49.8 km an hour top speed. So there we go, both mine and Leon's top speeds did not come from the Super Tuck. So it's a pretty interesting little test. And uh, yeah, maybe we didn't need the Super Tuck after all, but I think that's pretty much everything covered for this week's video. As always, thank you very much for watching and thank you as well to everyone who's subscribed to the channel so far. We're almost at 500 as i mentioned last week we're up up to 488 subscribers i think now so yeah getting close to that 500 mark and if we reach it by next week we might have to do a special video or maybe even a giveaway we'll see but that's everything from me this week so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to drop a like and i'll see you in the next one cheers